Some critics at the time even said they only did it because often a movie would have two or three writers and only one director. And it was easier to use the director's name. It didn't really mean they thought he was the only one who'd done any work, but it became the way we thought. But also, this leads to the great man version of filmmaking because mostly directors were men. So we could begin to say these geniuses who had created films for us, the Alfred Hitchcocks of the world, and we forget to mention Joan Harrison, who was the female who wrote half of his movies, including um, one of them that won an Oscar, whose name just escaped me. <laughs> so this great man theory is no good. Also in America, Peter Bogdanovich is a director, and he wrote this book in 1997, which is about legendary directors. Even though Peter Bogdanovich was a writer director. He privileged the directors in the history that he wrote about Hollywood. So this is crazy.